What's going on, guys? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt, and today we're going to be doing my fourth mock draft of the year. We're two weeks away from the NFL draft, so we're going to see a bunch of crazy rumors being thrown out there, but we're getting close. We're almost there. Now, I will say, before we get into it, this is not what I would do. This is what I think the Colts are going to do at this moment. Odds are, next week I'm going to feel different than I do this week. I feel different right now than I did the week prior. So, this is not what I would do. This is what I think the Colts will do. Before I get into it, though, if you're new, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon. That way you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, follow me on Twitter, horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So with that being said, let's get into it. And we're going to start off with round one. So I'm going to be doing a first here. I'm going to be doing a trade. I don't usually do trades in my mock drafts. Odds are this will be the only time I do a trade, but I figured I would do it this time. And I think rather than trading back, they're going to trade up. And for a long time, I've always felt like it's not going to happen. I know me and my dad have talked before and he said, you know, I heard they might actually trade up. And I, you know, said, no, I just don't see it. I think they're going to trade back. Well, then there are some reports coming out saying how the Colts, they're going to trade up to take Brock Bowers. I don't think they're taking Brock Bowers, but I do think they're going to trade up for another player. So I have them trading with the Bears. They're going to move the pick number nine. So to move the pick nine, they're probably going to have to give up the 15th pick, the 82nd pick, the 191st pick, and a 2025 third round pick to move up to number nine. It might be a bit much, but I think this is what it's going to take. So I have the Colts moving to number nine, and I have them drafting Malik Neighbors. Here's why I have them take Malik Neighbors at nine and why I think a trade is ultimately going to happen. Clearly, there's interest. Today, they're doing a visit with Malik Neighbors. So there is interest on that front. I think if Malik Neighbors is taken before nine, it would be by probably the Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to go Brock Bowers. That's how I felt initially. I started changing my mind. Right now, I think they go Brock Bowers at five. I think the Giants trade with the Vikings, and the Vikings are going to take a quarterback. The Titans aren't going to go with the receiver. They're going to go with an offensive lineman. And then you have the Falcons at eight. They're not going to go receiver. They're going to go defense. They're going to go ahead, and they're going to take probably Dallas Turner. So that means guys like Malik Neighbors are going to be available at number nine. So I think they're going to trade with the Bears, move up to number nine, and take Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors, in my opinion, is a potential top 10 receiver in all of football. This guy is dynamic. He's a great deep threat, so you get your deep threat option there. He's a great route runner. He's got great hands. He does everything you want a receiver to do really, really good. And he has the potential to be the number one receiver on this team. He has that potential, even over Michael Pittman Jr., who I believe is a number one receiver. So if Malik Neighbors can reach his potential, you got two number one receivers on your team. So I think the Colts are going to go Malik Neighbors. I think that's what Shane Steichen would want. I think Chris Ballard is going to do that and give Anthony Rich, uh, Richardson another dynamic weapon. So now we're going to move on to round two, which is pick 46. I have the Colts going defense here, and I'm going with Braylon Trice, edge rusher from Washington. Now, there is a chance he's taken before pick 46. I do think he's going to be in the second round, but will he get to 46? I don't know, but if he does... I think the Colts will take advantage of it. Very, very good pass rusher. He's a really, really good one. He had 53 quarterback hurries this past season for Washington, which, by the way, is more than guys like Jared Verse, Dallas Turner, and Latou. 
Um, 53 is a lot. He also had seven sacks, which is pretty good, right? And look, my whole thing with this defensive line is, yeah, sacks are great. Breaking the record for most sacks in franchise history, that's great. The pass rush itself was very inconsistent. I want that to change. This is a guy that can absolutely change that. 53 hurries is a lot in college football. It's quite a bit. So um, I want to be able to improve that. I think adding Trice can 1,000% improve that. And I think, honestly, the Colts, they're going to acknowledge that pass rush needs to get better. It needs to be consistent. So that's why I think they're going to go with Braylon Trice from Washington at pick 46. We traded round three, so we're going to move on to round four, and that is going to be pick 117. This guy has been in every single mock draft that I've done. I'm sticking with it. I got Cam Hart from Notre Dame. Again, the secondary is a area that needs to be addressed. We need to add to our cornerback room. I like our starters, personally. I, I feel like I'm one of the only people that likes our starters. I like... Juju Brents. I like Dallas Flowers. I like Kenny Moore. But I do think we need to add more depth to our secondary, more specifically to our cornerback room. That's why I got them going Cam Hart here. He just, he is what Chris Ballard wants in a corner with that size, that athleticism. This guy has shown that he can be a lockdown corner. Um, I think taking him, developing him is a good thing. Because then maybe you can get to year two and you can actually start him and he can be your lockdown corner for the next however many years. Um, again, he's shown that he's capable of doing that. I mean, he locked down Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. did not have a good game because Cam Hart was on him. So I think they will go secondary this year in the draft. I think they go with Cam Hart from Notre Dame in round four. All right, so now we're going to move on to round five, pick number 151. This will be the last pick in the mock draft because we did, of course, trade the sixth round pick to move up to number nine. And I have the Colts going with secondary here as well. But I have them going safety. And I think they're going to select Katan Oladapo from Oregon State. This is a all-around good safety. He's a good tackler. He's good in coverage, whether it's zone coverage, whether it's man-to-man. -man. He's good in coverage. He's good in press. He does everything exactly how you would want. He had a total of 73 total tackles this past season at Oregon State, two interceptions, and seven pass deflections. Those are good numbers for a safety. Like, I'll take those numbers, in all honesty. Um, has a really good sense for where the ball is. He's smart. Like, there was a, a play. I can't remember which game it was. Um, but it was this past season. I think it was in the Washington game, actually. And Washington's running back was running with the ball. It looked like he was going to score. And you see Oladapo coming up behind him. And he just smacks the ball out of the runner's hands. Like, he's smart. He knows, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to bring him down either way. Let me try to at least punch the ball out. And he did. So, he's got good ball skills, um, not a lot of weaknesses. Uh, this is a guy that I think you take, you develop for a season, and you throw him out there in year two, and you put him next to Julian Blackman. Who knows, maybe he'll be ready this upcoming season, but we need to address the safety depth on this team, and I think getting Oladapo would be a good addition for this team. So, that is our entire mock draft. Um, let's run through it again. Round one, we traded up to pick number nine, and we're taking Malik Neighbors. At pick 46, Braylon Trice, Edge from Washington. Uh, pick number 117, Cam Hart from Notre Dame. And then pick 151, Katan Oladapo, safety from Oregon State. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're new, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like the video, smack the like button, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt, Lead Bloom. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.